Hi, and welcome back to Fitzwork Tutorials. In part 4, I will talk about Drizzle function. A very exciting function. It can get more out of your sensor, color or monochrome. I will talk about the color sensors here. Now we can start our tutorial. Open a batch processing under the file menu. Pick up your sub images that you want to process. Remember that they must be under sampled and has small movement between each image detouring, for example. Here I chose the Galaxy M106 once again. Notice the temperature so that you can match it to a uh, Master dark with the same temperature. And then choose where you want to store your file and give it a name. Here we already have a file, so change it to another name. And now go to the next step, the right arrow, and uh, we do a dark subtraction, pick up the corresponding master dark you need. Same exposure, same ISO setting, and the same temperature, or at least as close as possible. And don't forget to equalize temperature, mark it. I didn't. And go to the next flat calibration, divide an image 
and pick up the corresponding master flat you need. Mark automatic scaling and then I have to go back and mark the equalize temperature. And now the difference comes. This time we will not do the debuyering. We'll go direct to uh, the destination image and we'll choose the buyer special. Pick up uh, the buyer settings, we still need them. Choose the multi marks, more than two stars, and stop. Now we have got our first image, and as earlier we have to mark stars as a reference. But now with, with the addressing like function, it's much more important that the stars are not saturated. If they are, we will not get that high resolution we're looking for. I will not show how to pick up the reference star. It's exactly the same as we did in part 3. Now we got our stacked image. Uh, sorry to say, we cannot see any difference in this and compare to a normal stack because of very bad seeing and high light pollution from my balcony where I've taken this. Now I will show you some tools you have to get information. First, we just doing the backlog level setting as we had done earlier, and also set the white point in the center of the galaxy. The focal length of my optical system is just 680 millimeters, and the pixels are 8.2 microns wide, so it's very under sampled bring up the histogram function and you will see the background signal. This is the gamma window. You have others also which we will talk about in another tutorial. You can change the gamma for each color if you want. If you right click on a window you can get other information about the image. In the bottom we have some information about the levels for each channel. This is for the whole image but you can also draw a square and click inside it and only get the information about that area. You can also see what's inside the header in the file of the image. It's the it's data. You can see the process steps that has been done on the image here. 